Hey everybody, Accurate here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, episode 80. So we've got ourselves a bit of broken ribs, and we still need to recover from that. We've taken the medicine and uh, the bandage, which we needed. Um, but right now we are just waiting for our moose hide to cure uh, while we recover. But uh, this should be a good way to end the series. And uh, let's step outside, see how things are going out here. Yep, just as we'd left them. Not too bad. Uh, we've got a lot of moose meat here, which is a little gamey right now, but we'll cook it up and it won't be too bad at all. Got some planks we can use for fuel, some more reclaimed wood over here, and a burned out campfire if we decide we want to cook out here. I think that's from a previous visit to this location. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look, see how we're doing. We're warm, rested, uh, have uh, plenty of hydration, and we are hungry though. So we can go ahead and cook up some of this. It's negative 32 outside, but it feels like 24. It is a little cold, but let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab some of this moose meat. Let's see if we can't see if we can get a fire started here. Okay, we're gonna break this down. There we go. Make us a little bit cold, but not too bad. And uh, we're in a pretty well sheltered area here, I think. Plus, when it's foggy, it doesn't seem to get too windy. Normally, at least not that I can remember. So, uh, let's go ahead and use the fire striker. Not like we're going to have to use it too much more anyway. But uh, I know the series is 365 days in the dark. Or, yes, 365 days in the dark. But we're right around day 200 or so. And uh, I'm just not going to have anything else to do, honestly, in the series. I, I've. Oh, no. We got beaten by the 15% chance of failure. Let's try it again. So, after we get this moose hide cloak, we're going to call that an end of the series. It's been a good run. Come on. Come on. I honestly thought I'd still be busy all the way up through uh, 365 days, but I moved a little too quick. I don't think I paced myself quite right. So, live and learn, I guess. Also, for uh, um, the uh, Halloween event, Four Nights of Dark... I, uh, I worked that whole weekend, so I missed out on each day had a different thing, a uh, different, different theme. Like, day one was no wolves, and you could run around and, uh, hey, I'm a fire-starting master now. Cool. And you could run around and uh, gather all the things you needed for the subsequent three days. Fortunately, I worked that whole day and missed it, and then uh, basically I'm behind the eight ball. So they did things a little bit different this time with that. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a good amount of fire here. I don't want to put too, too much on the fire in case it does get real windy, but uh, we'll start off with this. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's not eat that. Hold on. Where's it at? Yes. Campfire style. I need this. Let's throw that down there and let's cook a little bit of meat inside of there. I don't think I have any more pots in this area. At least close by. So we're just going to have to do it with one pot. And we'll uh, advance time there, grab that meat, and rinse and repeat. There we go. Look. Fire's keeping me nice and warm. Oh, now we got a nice sunny day. Feels like 92 degrees by the campfire. We doing on the fire five hours and 50 minutes we still got a lot left we can also cook up some water too if we get just an absolute ton of meat it's been a wonderful series i've really enjoyed it i am looking forward to attempting an interloper run sometime soon after all the whole point of this was to get me geared up and prepared for Interloper. Interloper is a whole nother beast, though. No rifles. Um, no uh, handmade, or I should say, no uh, factory-made knives or uh, hatchets. You gotta hand-make them all. At one of the forges, which is limited. I think trapping and fishing is going to become a... Uh, huge, huge part of it, at least early on. 
uh, just for survival. Now let's go ahead and grab something to drink here. Looks good. Good, all right. All right, wonderful. So we got a bunch of meat here. How much time we still got left? I could cook up probably most of this out. It looks like it's getting a little windy from this side, but I think we're protected. We are protected back here, actually. I see the symbol there at the top of the screen, so. Grab a few more steaks and throw a couple more reclaimed woods here on the fire. See how that goes. If the wind shifts, we could run into an issue if it comes from over there or behind us uh, we could be in a problem with uh, it blowing our campfire out however it is it is pretty well protected behind these barrels and, and this wall here I'm not sure if that will make a difference or not but time will tell check our body here so we are getting credit for the time that we're just surviving it doesn't have to be sleeping hours it's just recovery time in general so that's not too bad check on the fire three hours and 18 minutes i think we're gonna get it all cooked up i'll be happy with that all right let me drop some of this meat here be much faster if I just go straight to the inventory for this one because there's so many of them all right there we go starting to get tired and thirsty yet again oh not coffee I don't want coffee ah got a little too fast with the clickies drink almost anything all right let's let's brew up some water I think I have some water stored somewhere but uh let's go ahead and just brew up a little bit Never hurts to have a lot of water. Let's boil it. Pass time until it's ready. There we go. And we'll take that. Let's now let's drink that water. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Pass time. do that maybe so hungry. maybe one more time here maybe two more times double check yep almost daytime again that's okay and I say we do one more steak what do you guys think yeah let's do one more We'll leave the rest here on the floor. Cook them if we need to later. I think we can do one steak. We'll see. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. 45 minutes. Feels like something is sapping my energy. All right, I'm going to take the cooking pot with me in case I decide to travel. But uh, right now, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and head inside. As much time as we spend outside, I think we're going to be fine as far as uh, not having to worry about... Any of this gear. Yeah, Betty is carrying a lot. Yeah, 79 pounds actually isn't too bad, considering how much water I boiled up and all that, so... Pretty happy with that. Okay, let's go and eat. There we go, and eat. I'll eat two of those, and yeah, we're pretty much topped off there. Perfect. Alright, let's grab ourselves a bedroll. And let's go ahead and sleep for a good, uh... What do you say? Let's do, let's do nine hours. That'll be a nice restful sleep. Be just early afternoon, I think. Yes. Okay, how are we doing here? 20% cured, not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, our, this might already be cured. Oh, it's really close. It's, it's getting, it's moving quick. It's curing twice as fast as the moose hide. So, we'll take it. Do I have water stored over here? I can't remember. 
Uh, antiseptic. The matches and all kinds of goodies. Wow. And extra knives and everything we need. Everything we need. Let's head back out. Do a little bit more. Uh... Ooh. I think we're safe back here, though. Fire. Yeah, fire is good back here. So we can uh, we can do another fire here. And we're not going to put a ton of wood on because in case it does blow out, we don't want to lose all that wood. I don't know if it refunds it or not into your inventory. But uh, better safe than sorry. Chance of success 100% now that we're at level 5 fire starting. Gotta love that. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this. Well, it is a temp out here. Feels like 48. I think that's because I'm too close to the fire. 47? Really? Okay. It's a very warm blizzard. One of those warm weather bl blizzards that that in. Get another drink here. And how many hours do we have left on recovery? Might as well check that. 82 hours. Not bad. We we've made a big. Uh, we've done pretty good. Stand by one second, guys. All right. So, let's see here. Let's uh, cook this up here. And I don't think it'll be too long till we're fully recovered. It's uh, it's moving pretty quick. It's just a moose that stomped on me is all. Not a big deal. But, yep, we're gonna get this all, maybe. I think we are gonna get this mostly cooked up. Three sure of them. Carry might need one more, might need one more uh, wood on the fire. Yeah, we will. We'll still have a little bit of time left over, but uh, we definitely need at least probably two more. There we go. Yeah, it will let me. Okay. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me, like, put something into a pot, but... That was user error, not 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 the program, not the game. Okay. All that, we got a gallon and a half, over a gallon and a half of water. We're in really good shape. And we're underweight now. So you gotta love that. Let's see if we can cook up just a little bit more water. I don't know if we'll have time, I don't... Yeah, we're not going to have enough time. I need to add one more. There we go. I need 41 minutes. I got an hour and three. Good. Pick up that pot. Put it in there. We got 33 more minutes. We're good. Sun is... Or the... Sun setting. The Carter Hydro Dam. Let's take a look at our... Materials here. Can't see him actually. There we go. Twenty-three percent and forty-five percent. Good. 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 All right. I think I'll just sit out here, and maybe read a book or something. I'm not sure. I don't I think we got. Did we grab all the uh, bags? I thought we did. I want to go double check. Can't remember. Real quick. Looks like, yeah, like the birds are still up there, but hard telling. 74 pounds. What am I saying? Oh, probably water. The water. The water is making me a bit heavy. I definitely want to be able to run if I'm going to go outside the gates here. But let's take care of that little problem. Drop about a pound. There we go. 
about a pound and a half. That should really lighten us up quite a bit. We're still a little bit, yeah, probably fatigued more than anything. Maybe we'll check in the morning. I think we'll do that. So I'm just going to hang out here. Take a look at our clothing. See if we need to repair anything while we're at it. Um, let's go by condition. The boots. Everything's not, it's not too bad. But I'm pretty happy with everything at this point. So let's just pass a little bit of time here. Wear ourselves out a little bit. I'd say probably about uh, five hours. Yeah, let's do that. Starting to get a little cold. Feels like temperature dropped pretty quite a bit that's yeah, not bad when the fire went out it really dropped that was the that was what really caused it to drop into the 40s so there we go all right well i'm gonna sleep inside as we did before let me grab something to drink and a little something to eat before we go to bed There we go, nice and nice and full. I think we'll probably sleep for about eight. We might wake up a little early. Hard to say. Two hundred three days, twenty two hours, fifteen minutes. Not too bad. I do want to check out the uh, fire starting skill here. Where'd it go? Uh, it's up here, isn't it? Yep. Fire starting five. Ice fishing's three. Rifles four. Yeah, we're almost maxed out on everything. Mending's at four. So fire starting five. You have a spark. You have a spark at your fingertips. Your skills are legendary. You are the fire whisper. Ninety percent chance to start fire. Fires last fifty percent longer. Fires last fifty percent longer. Or I'm sorry. Fires start fifty percent faster. Fires last fifty percent longer. Can start fires without tinder. Wonderful. I've been able to do that for several levels now, but uh, not bad. I like it. 28% and 56. So, get ourselves a drink here and head over there, see if there's anything left that I really want from the, uh, the moose kill site. Check on our weight. We're in, why am I... S is that because I'm... Oh, it's because I have a broken ribs. That's right. Eh, probably not a good idea to go out there with broken <laughs> with broken ribs. Honestly, I can't really run. Okay, I'm happy with what we got. Because I think the wolves have respawned in probably by now. Yeah, there's this wolf down here. You can see him down there. Wandering around. So the wolves are back, and I don't want to have to get into a wolf fight with broken ribs. That just does not sound like a good idea. 363 calories, we'll top off there. So at this point, we're just going to kill time until I get recovered. We're about halfway recovered. That didn't take too long now, did it? Okay, so let's go ahead and pass about six hours. We'll just watch the weather effects here. It's getting warmer. It sounds like it's getting worse, but it's actually getting warmer. 51 degrees, 52. Too bad. Starting to get a little bit foggy out there. Now, I guess there is a little bit of wind with fog. Surprisingly. Well, no, it's kind of kind of died off, didn't it? Maybe it's just transitional. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We're still not very tired at all. But uh, I could run, run laps uh, and just really fatigue myself that way, but uh, I'll just keep passing time. It's not a big deal. Honestly, at this point, I don't care if it's day or night. So, the faster we pass time, the sooner we get uh, recovered, and the sooner our moose hide gets cured. See, this is pretty much how the next hundred and, you know, <laughs> 60 plus days would be. Once I got my moose cloak, I'd pretty much just be standing around with a ton of food everywhere, ton of water, ton of everything, and uh, just killing time like this. This is pretty much how the rest of the, the series would go. At least right now, I'm still waiting to recover these uh, 
I could eat uh, anything right now. Recover my uh, injury from my injury and uh, get that. Uh, get myself a little bit uh, fatigued and things like that. Just. Uh, I should say recover from. What am I talking about? Recover from the injury and uh, get the uh, moose hide cured. So at least I have a purpose right now. After this, there wouldn't be really much purpose. All right, starting to get a little hungry. Um, yeah, we got plenty of food. Let's just grab a grab one here. We'll eat it straight off the ground. Wonderful. And there we go. Now eat that one straight off the ground. Perfect. Great. All right, 52 hours left here. Still pretty wide awake, so we'll go for another five. That works. I think we're pretty good there. You know, food. Food's good. Drink this last bit of water here. We'll cook up some more water. Take a look at our ribs. 47 hours left. Won't be long at all. I think nine hours should be good. Two hundred five days, one hour, six minutes. Pick this up. Forty percent, sixty percent, eighty percent. That's right. It goes at double the rate, basically. So, okay, thirty-eight hours left. Let's uh, eat and uh, make up some water while we're at it too. There we go. All right. Do I have? Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to start this with magnifying glass. Yay! It's always fun to do that. 90% chance of success. I thought I was a fire whisperer. It should be, I want it to be 100%. Oh well. We'll boil up another two gallons. Two or three gallons. We'll see what... What we can do here. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Should just drank it right from there. Wonder which way this wind's coming from. Okay, we're still safe. Fire's getting a little bit low. Might have to go get a little bit more wood. Luckily, there's plenty of it inside. All right, starting to die. One minute left. go. Oh, I forgot I had all these waters here. <laughs> I completely forgot. When I walked out, I was looking like this, and I didn't see them down there. They were like in my, my blind spot. Oh, well. We got extra, extra water now. We're good. Yeah. We're in really good shape. Alright, what do you think? I think we should pass time for... Watch this blizzard go for maybe seven hours. Eh, we'll do six. We can always interrupt it anyway. We can interrupt it anytime if it gets too cold. Wind's blowing sideways now. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm still protected, so my clothes shouldn't be taking too much damage. That's what I was worried about. Let's see, when it was passing time, I'd like to see if this protected symbol stayed up here. It would be nice. Because if suddenly the wind shifted and I wasn't, I'd like to know that information. Whereas right now, see, I have to exit to see it. I, mean, I am still protected, but whenever you go in there, you lose it. I think that should... That little symbol at the top should stay uh, stay on uh, when you pass time. Not necessarily when you sleep, because when you sleep, you're not conscious of it. But when you're passing time, yeah, you're aware of your, your surroundings and whether or not you're getting hit in the... You get smacked upside the le the right side of your cheek with the uh, with wind or not. Um, just a little little tweak. All right, let's get something to eat here. There we go. Okay. look here see how things are going inside not that I can see anything at all there's gotta be a moose hide around here somewhere there it is 45% okay the other one has to be 90% gosh I have no idea where I'm at I'm gonna have to actually bring out the lantern I'm lost inside this little room wow not where I thought I was We'll holster that. And, um... Uh, yeah, probably about time to get some sleep. What do you guys think? You want to sleep outside? I say we sleep outside tonight. We sleep outside. Just for fun. Get on water, get on food. Alright. Let's just do uh, three hour increments. Since it could get super cold suddenly. Let's sleep and... I wonder if I need to repair my bedroll. Need to check into that. Let's see what? Does it show the uh, condition here? No, I don't think it does. Okay, we'll do that in the morning. We'll check the bedroll in the morning. Oh, oh! Let me out! Let me out! Hyper, hyper! That's why you only do three three hours at a time. It won't let you wake up in uh, stalker mode. How bad is the hypothermia risk? How bad is it? Not bad. Not bad. 27%. Okay. We'll be fine. What we'll do is we'll we'll sleep it off in here. 70% on the bedroll, so that's really not too bad. There we go. Should recover during this little bit of sleep. There it is. Healed. Okay, good. Woke up fully rested. Can't sleep anymore mid-morning 18 hours left less than a day and we'll be ready to run around be ready to frolic again beautiful day kind of pretty I like it sort of a gray wintry day with the snow gently coming down gently floating down I think I have... nope. Top off our food. Keep a nice full stomach. We've earned it, I'd say. So... Let's play some more solitaire, shall we? <laughs> 32, 33. Okay, it's warming up now. Was was a little bit cold. Wind's coming from our back, so I'm pretty sure we're safe. Otherwise, I'd be checking the, uh... Uh-oh, getting cold. It's coming at us now. We don't like that. Am I protected back here? Yeah, I am. Alright. see what the temp is here. 43, that's not bad. And now it's stopped. Blizzard has passed. It's gotta be like close to 90 blizzards, right? That we that we survived, I think. Let's check. Blizzard. 
let it go through here. 126 successful repairs. That's a lot of repairing. 57 bow shots taken? I've had more bow shots than rifle shots. 46 on that. Wildlife rifle hits 38. Zero on distress pistols. The flare guns, in other words. Wolf struggles one. Look at that. 100% for the wolf struggles. Well, I guess if you lose one, that's it, right? I mean, you have to win if you're looking at this screen. I guess maybe you can look at this after you die. I'm not 100% sure. I think you can. Wolves distracted by decoys, 19. Not an, uh, I guess I did kind of try using them there for a while. Just do better without them. Deer's killed only four. Killing, been murdering rabbits. Fish consumed 149 pounds of fish. 353 pounds caught. Meat harvested, oh, wow. 859 pounds of meat. 72 guts, 56 hides. I thought it said f seven fires started. I'm like, whoa, no way. No, that's can openers found. I haven't really opened that many cans, honestly. Longest burning fire, 34 hours. 23 wrist sprays, 26 ankle sprays. Four food poisonings, zero dysentery, zero infections, one hypothermia. I did get hypothermia. I didn't think I did. 14 blood loss. Must have been pretty early on or something. Zero cabin fever. I've done well with that, being able to avoid that. Intestinal parasites, too. That's from being stupid. Eating raw meat by accident. And zero frostbite. That's good. Because that's like a permanent... I think if you get that, it permanently screws you up uh, with your... your stamina or something. I'm not sure how that it works, but I think there is a permanent effect if you do get frostbite. Uh, broken rib 2, falls 4, and 86 blizzards survived. We almost made it to 90. Alright. Let's kill some more time here. Getting really good at solitaire, guys. Really good at it. Hey, the Aurora is up. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well, we've already checked the computers here, so... Nothing much else to see, I don't think. I'm trying... I don't think there's any more computers down in the basement area or anything like that. So, we can always check. Heck, let's go check, shall we? We got some cured guts there. Maybe there's one in here. Just light this up. We have a bunch of fuel. Got no reason to not use it. Can't use that. I think it has to be a CRT monitor. I have opened that safe already. Good. Open the safe. I hadn't done that. I've sort of neglecting my duties. All right, let's go cruise around downstairs here a little bit. See if we can find find another computer to look at. I don't think we can, but we can try. Oh, that's right. You don't want to touch these. They can burn you. I don't think I can go that way. I think I get burned. That spark's dropping from the top, so I don't think... I think we're okay. It's coming from up there. I just don't want to touch that live wire. Can't jump. Ah. Shit, that's hot. Oh, ah, damn it. Let me get Shit, off of it. Burns. Stop locking up on me. Jeez. It was like glitchy. I couldn't even move. All right. So we need pain meds and bandages. Let's get that on board right away. Uh, pain meds. Use. And we'll, we'll go find. Why not? I needed it for that, didn't I? Hold on. I'm gonna tear up some clothes here real quick. I need some bandages. That hurts so much. Let me grab some clothes here real quick. Yeah, let me grab this. Okay, let me tear this up. 
Yeah. Oh, that hurts so much I'm dying. Uh, I thought I could squeeze past there, but for some reason I couldn't. Um, I got burned a lot. No, not repair. Back. Harvest. There we go. And let's get that on. Why is it... Oh, because I actually need to make a bandage, don't I? Now I have cloth. That's right. I got three cloth. I got plenty enough or, to make bandages. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to do a bandage chest. Use it. I think maybe... I don't know. Hold on. that work? Treatment didn't do anything. What are you talking about? One bandage plus two. Do I need to actually... What? What's the problem here? Okay, hold on. Let me go outside so I'm not wasting all this lantern fuel trying to figure this out. Okay. Let me see here. There we go. Use it on that. Take painkillers for the chest. Oh, come on. Well, why not? It's... You have ser your general condition will be reduced until you treat your burns, or you heal naturally. Well, I have a bandage plus two painkillers. That's what I want to use. Weird. My general condition will be reduced. So, until I heal naturally, I'm going to stay at this this penalty right here. I'm gonna lose that much. This should go up. Um, but I would like to trade it. Can I... Oh, that's a that's the moose stomp. Okay, I got you. That's a chest. See, I thought I was burned on the chest as well. So, the, what I need to do is this. Use it like that. Okay. My gosh. Okay. Silly me. <laughs> I'm overdosing on pain meds. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So we've healed it up. Now we should be able to recover fully as we sleep. Good. Okay. I was worried there when it started uh, getting real... Uh, real stuttery. I, like, I could barely move. Um, I was uh, worried I was going to uh, die right there. But I guess that is kind of how it is with electricity. Once you start getting electrocuted, you basically can't move. So that's kind of realistic. Uh, so I kind of like that, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and get lots of drink on board, lots of food on board, and sleep off the uh, condition hit there. Yeah, we could use another piece of meat here. So much for trying to make it through there. All that because I wanted to read some, uh, some journal entries, basically, from past survivors. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Alright, let's go to sleep for nine hours. We should be up to about, I'm guessing probably about 95% condition by the time we wake up. We'll see. Ah, my broken ribs healed. I forgot about that. Okay. So, let's take a look here. 84%. Oh, that's close. Alright, now... Oh, yeah. Feeling much more spry. Feeling good. 58% on the moose. Cured guts. Looks good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and check. We'll, we'll pass time till daylight. Then we'll go check on the moose. I think this is good enough. It is daylight. I consider this daylight. Two degrees. That's cold. Let's head out here, see if there's any more moose to be grabbed. I can't remember. It's been over a week uh, since I played the last episode, so. There might be a new wolf spawn in here. really don't want to fight him if I don't have to. Moose might be gone by now, too. 
There's a couple more bags. Too much stuff to carry. All right. Just for fun. Yeah, look at me. I can run now. All right. See, I thought I had... Because I was getting multiple burn messages, I thought I actually got burned in two separate places. And I thought one of them was the chest, and one was, like, another location. Um, what I forgot was that I still had that moose injury. And that's what I was actually seeing, so... That was that was where I screwed up with the uh, the treatment there. All right, pallets, lots of pallets. Okay, we can't do any more breaking down. <laughs> Got hypothermia risk hitting us here, and we're getting a little thirsty. Got cold out there. Damn freezing. Real cold. Okay. Let's uh, this pass a little time here until we warm up. Hopefully the temperature outside warms up too. Get rid of that hypothermia risk. What is the tip out here? Still 8 degrees. Goodness. Now, do I get credit for some of the pallets? No. I didn't get credit for anything, did I? I don't think I can do this out here. What if I duck down behind here? Am I, am I protected here? I am. What's the tip now? Twenty. I think I can do this. We'll try it. See what happens. Nope. We got it. We got it. Go here. Start this fire. My fingers feel numb. That's all right. You're about to warm up. I don't think I have enough. Oh, maybe. Well, I don't think so. There's no direct sunlight. We'll try. Yeah, nothing. I didn't think so. We'll go, go for the guaranteed fire start here. Here we go. All right, now let's cook up some food. I'm doing it, I'm doing it all wrong. There we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot we needed to quarter that stuff up. Eh, okay. Well, luckily we have plenty of time to do it. So, go ahead and... Go to that meat. I forgot it was just a big, big, huge... I can't really cook that whole thing. I need to harvest this real quick. Shouldn't take too long, actually. It's not a big deal. Only nine pounds of meat? I thought it was more than that. Okay. Well, still. Rancid. It'll be just fine by the time we get done with it. Our fire's going out. Get away. It's That should be protected. Oh, well. We'll drop our moose meat here. See, if I had my fire right here, I'd be all right. I should start another fire right here. We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. If it would have let us. It won't let us. Yeah, there's a spot there, but it's being awful picky, isn't it? See, I'm protected down here. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. I think maybe my bottles are too close. Fire on top of a fire. Oh, hold on. There's an interesting place there I just saw. I thought I saw it go green in a really cool spot. Okay, I guess we'll just wait it out. Wait 30 degrees. Let's go inside. No point in being uncomfortable. We've earned some 
some comforts. Blizzard has passed. I think that's the 87th Blizzard, if I'm not mistaken. Never been so hungry in my life. That's beautiful outside now. Still no direct sun. There we go. Turned out Outstanding. Well. I did lose all that wood that I had on there before, but what happens? Oh, that one was almost cooked. So it it okay because it was partially cooked. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to recook it completely or not. Apparently not. Good. Thirty minutes. Okay. Will's feeling a bit hungry, isn't he? How we doing on water? Yeah, we can use a little bit more water. I think we're gonna need to uh, some more wood on there. Not a problem. I'm carrying a bunch. And we have a bunch over here too, but uh, I do want to stay way ahead of the curve there with water. Just because it's fun to have lots of everything. Gotta eat soon. I think we're. I think we're I probably good. I'm gonna try doing one more. Since I got this extra fire level, 42 minutes, 29. I think we'll be able to do it. Let's see. We sure did. Not sure why I feel so tired. Maybe it's because you're carrying around, you know, like 24 pounds of water and another. What, 10 pounds of meat? And you've been up all day? And you've been electrocuted? And you've been stomped on by a moose? Oh, the list goes on. There we go. That's a partial piece there. 300 and some calories. But, uh, it's alright. And the fire's going out. And we're super tired, so go ahead and get some get some rest. As we wait for the moose hide to uh cure. 5%, we're getting there. Got plenty of food on board. Yes, yes. And drink, we're good. Gonna rest for I'm gonna say ten hours this time. Should be hundred percent condition when we wake up. No ailments at all. Oh yeah. Gotta like that. 208 days, 47 minutes. 59%. And we know that's cured. I want to go explore downstairs just to see if there are any, uh... If there are any, uh... Computers down here at all. Or if it was just a wasted effort on my part here. I thought for sure I could get past that. All I can think about is Maybe that metal was electrified and when I stepped on the metal it started electrocuting me. Or maybe the sparks from up top got me, I don't know. It seemed like I had enough room to squeeze past. Yeah, alright. <laughs> nice little fire barrel with a little grill, like a little grill rack on it.
Go down to the lower dam here. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Corpses. Or a corpse. It's Carter Carl. Let's see that is. Microwave. Oh. <laughs> Be able to actually cook up some of my uh, pork and beans during one of the auroras. Have some microwave pork and beans. Of course, why would you do microwave pork and beans when you could have, you know, have them right off the campfire? Nice and hot. I guess because you miss technology. That's why. You miss convenience after a while. So these aren't the type of monitors I can actually get cache messages from. Uh, nothing there, really. Backpack. Another cloth. A microwave. A mixtape. Ah, there is one here. Huh. Well. Could camp out here and wait for the next Aurora, but uh, the problem is you probably end up with cabin fever waiting. You have to sort of time it right. You have to go out during the day and then come back down here and spend the night down here. I haven't checked this. Oh, requires a hacksaw. Nothing in there. So maybe we'll do that. While we're waiting for the moose to cure, we'll spend the days up here outside uh, staving off the uh, cabin fever and then at night we'll come down here and sleep before it electrifies everything. And we'll read whatever that computer has to say. So let's head on back up. And make that our, our plan. Alright guys, I'm looking at the time here. And uh, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Long Dark. And uh, hopefully we get to discover what that computer holds inside of it during the uh, next, or during the next uh, Aurora. Y'all take care.